Hi, I'm Ryan Carters, and today I'm here at Darum Island College running a run machine clinic. Regarding technique, today we really emphasized moving our head before our foot because the head is the most important object when it comes to batting. If you can move that into the strong position out in front of your body, it allows everything else to snap into line and it means that your hands don't have to do all the work in the shot. 90% of the work is done with your lower body translating up to your upper body and the hands only provide the icing on the shot. Head. When it comes to pull shots, the really important thing is to meet the ball as early as possible. You can fall into a trap leaning back a bit too much, especially if the bowling is quite quick when it comes to pulling. So the earlier we can meet the ball, the more of a full swing we can get, the more power we can generate, and also the more room we have to dictate where we want to hit the ball. When it comes to cutting, we really emphasize hitting the ball as late as possible, in that you want to let the ball travel for as long as possible past your right eye, and then hit it on the head. This allows our shoulders to close off so that we can maintain in control with our front arm and then allow our bottom hand to come through and generate the power. Today we said the number one rule about game plans is to always have one. The number two rule is to play the right shot to the right ball. We discussed some different field positions and how you might have to adapt your shots to match your strengths to the situation at hand. A unique and powerful way of training doesn't even involve picking up a bat or a ball. Today we spent 10 minutes lying down and picturing what it was like to walk out and play the perfect innings. We imagined certain deliveries from the bowler in challenging conditions and how we were going to combat them. We found that if we had a calm and relaxed and present state of mind, that can hopefully translate when we, when we walk out to the middle in a real match. The final part of the Run Machine Clinic is to put everything together into a decision-making practice session. If it's full enough to drive, we drive it, but if it's not, we don't Bye, allow Dad. that to happen. We have to be critical about which balls to attack and which to defend. The recipe for a run machine involves combining technique, game plans and presence. We're really lucky that once we can master this, it also applies to other aspects of life. If you learn the basic skills behind something, you put it into practice with some good game plans and then you maintain presence and focus in the moment, you're sure to succeed.